Yo, what's up guys, back again with another video in the Java FX series. This episode I'll be teaching you how to add controls, or what I call components, to your JavaFX application so that you can actually have stuff on the screen like buttons and labels and all that fun stuff. Um, so I'm going to be showing you the label and images controls and then uh, yeah. So if we want to display an image on our screen on our scene or stage we need to actually have an image to display obviously and you can, well there's different things you can do but one way is to actually get a link from the web from the internet just you know a link for a image or you can get a object of an image you know object reference of an image and then you know convert it and all that stuff but the easiest way is with a link so let's just search for some images here we're gonna search for juice world because he's the best um, so juice world we will do images now and we'll find one that we like um, they're all just so beautiful I can't really choose one can I guess I have to there we go we'll choose this one so right click and then do uh, open image a new tab then right click here and then do copy image address so that's going to give you the direct, or you can just copy up here, but yeah, that's just going to give you the, the uh, direct uh, file location on the internet for the image, basically. That's the simple way to put it. So we'll go back to our application here, and we're going to start, um, well, I'm going to show you how to add the image to your um, your scene, okay? Because last episode we learned about scenes, and how scenes can be used to add what's called controls. And I don't think I used the word controls last episode, so let me make this clear. Um, last episode I said components when I referred to the labels, like the text things that we can put on the screen and stuff like that. Those are actually called controls, not components, but um, you can call it components if you want to, but the JavaFX term is controls, okay? So the first control I'll be showing you is the image view control for displaying images, okay? So first let's just go ahead and set up our stage here, set up our window, so we'll do stage.setTitle and we'll say, um, it's not listening to me, set title, there we go, so episode 5 I believe, episode 5, um, images, and um, what's it called, labels, there we go, so then we'll do um, the same dimensions as last time, width and height, so we'll do 400 by 500, so set width, 400, and then stage dot set height, 500 just like that and then finally we're going to show it so stage that show nope not that one so there you go so we're going to run this to make sure it works um it should work though there we go so we get a cool little stage here um so now we can display stuff in here but we need a scene to actually display stuff in here because we learned that up last episode we need scenes so let's just go and create a new scene here um we'll call it scene uh, make sure you import it from JavaFX. Uh, I can't type. There we go. So scene, and we'll call it scene is equal to new scene. And of course, for the parameter, we need a root uh, node here. So we can just go and create a simple VBox just for uh, um, what's called. I don't know what you would call it. it was just for testing purposes because we haven't learned about the layout managers yet. Um, so we'll do VBox. Um, root is equal to new vbox. There we go. Really simple. Now we can just pl plug in root just like that. And then now finally we can add an image. Okay, so if we want to add an image, all we got to do is declare a new image view object here. And this is going to be our control for um, displaying images. So now we can just call it whatever we want. We can call it image one or just image view or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> whatever you want to call it so then it's going to be equal to new image view because we're declaring a new object and so whatever you want to have in here what you usually want to have in here is just the link for the um, for the image okay or you can just put in a image um, object but I'll be showing you that in a second but the first way is to use a link so you just plug in the link here and there we go and then after that you have a semicolon it looks like we have an error here it says string image view string let's see what's the problem here I believe we're using the wrong, we imported it from the wrong place, that's probably why it's not working. Yeah, we imported it from Swing and not from JavaFX. I believe JavaFX is built upon Swing, but it's not the exact same thing, okay? So we need to uh, re-import this, basically. Go down here, import this, make sure it's from JavaFX. You always want to do that, okay? There we go, that's better. So now that we have that, we have no errors, we can try displaying this to the screen. 
So if you remember last episode, we need to actually add the child node to our root node because the root node is going to be the parent of the child node. So we could do simply roots.getchildren.addall and we can simply throw in the, Im the image view child node here. And so now finally, before we um, can run this and show everything, we need to add the scene to our stage. So we can do stage.setScene and then scene, just like that, okay? Really, really simple so far. We're just using an image view object to um, use an image link, okay? So there we go. Now we get our cool, beautiful image of Juice World on our screen, right? Really cool. That's um, how you simply display an image. I hope you like that. Very simple. So that's one way to do it. You know, like I said, there's another way if you actually get an image object. So if we want to do that, we could simply get rid of this. We'll just do Control X to cut it. And so let's make a new image object. So image, uh, make sure it's image from JavaFX, not from anything else. So image and we'll say image is equal to new image and then you could simply plug in a bunch of other stuff like an input stream in case you want to grab it from a file or something like that from a stream uh, any place like that but the the main way to do it maybe would be just with a link also right like we did before so yeah there's just different ways to do things so just keep that in mind in case you ever see something different than what I'm showing you here so anyway um, that's how you do that if you don't know how to do files and streams and all that, I believe I have a few episodes on that, but I'll be adding more in the future. Um, anyway, so now that we have our image object here, we can simply plug it into our image view object. So now it's all hooked up, and then now it should display the same image as before because we all hooked it up and all that magic stuff, okay? So there we go. Now we get our beautiful image of Juice World. So that's basically just how you display an image. Very, very simple concept. Um, hopefully you like that. And let's see, is there any more stuff we could do to the image? So image view dot, and we can set the location of it if you want to, set x, set y, fit, height property, um, get some information, uh, get, yeah, all that stuff. So now that we know how to make an image and display an image onto the, our, our scene, let's go ahead and show you how to use a label. And a label, if you remember, is just text that you can display on the scene, you know, just a simple text. Um, anything right so if you want to make a label we could simply do label make a label object uh, make sure it's from JavaFX uh, gotta be very careful about that um, label scene control there we go so label and we'll call it label one because we're gonna have multiple labels I'll show you so new label and the most simple way to make a label is just by typing some text in here so we can say this is a text label there we go and then so control P if you want to see the other parameters by the way so that's how you add a label and then now we can add it to our our what's called a root node here so we could do root same as before root dot get children dot add all label one okay there we go and that should work so now we can try running this and see if the label is now showing on our scene here <clears throat> there we go so it says this is a text label that's a simple way to display a uh, display a label but if you want to add an image to a label you can let's say you have like a button or something like that or like a, maybe an icon next to your label, just for any reason like that, okay? So we could do that by just providing an image view object. If you go back here, you might have noticed a second ago, if we do control P for the parameters, we can see that there's another parameter option we could do, which is node node. And we can provide a basically another node to be basically kind of inside of this label. But anyway, you can provide an image view um, node if you want to. That means that the image will be displayed right next to the text label, okay? So if you want to go ahead and make a new text or a, um, image here you can so we could do image view image one is equal to new image view and we'll just put the same link as before oops there we go so now we have the link in there the picture and let's let's actually use something smaller I'll show you why we want to use something smaller well never mind I'll just show you what happens so anyway, so now we have the image that we just created with the image view. So we can go ahead and add it onto here, onto the label. So now it's going to be hooked up to the label. So we can try running this and displaying it with the text label and see what happens. So there we go. Now we have the image, but right next to the image, we have the text label because it's like basically together, right? So it's very big. It doesn't really fit with the text label exactly. So what we can do here is find a smaller image, like a small icon, maybe a logo. Um, let's spot uh, let's do something small. Small logo. Um, let's do a transparent logo, by the way. You always want to have a transparent logo. Um, what you can do here is go to tools, size, exactly. 
We'll do 40 by 40. That's probably a little smaller. Or too small, maybe. But we'll try that. Um, transparent. So we'll just use this, see what happens. And we'll, so we got a right click here, open image, a new tab, copy the link. Now we'll go back and try it out. So we'll just put it right here. There we go. So now let's run this and see what happens. It should be, it should look better. It should fit in better with the label. And there we go. So now it says this is a text label and it fits a little better, right? So yeah, you can do that if you want to. And if you want, you could also add other labels right under that one if you want to. You can add as many things as you want to. Um, it's all up to you, really. So label, label two is equal to new label. Pickles are cool. And we can just add on that, uh, add on to our root node here. So we can add it to be a child node of the root node as well. There we go. So now we're running this and see, let's see what we get. Should be right under it because it's a vertical box. So it's going to be displayed on top of each other. So this is a text label. And then right under that is pixel, pickles are cool, right? So the image is going to stay with the text label because they're linked together, of course. But the bottom one or the next one's going to be under it, right? But anyway, that's a really simple concept. But as you can see, the text label, the text for the label is very, um, very boring. It's not very um, exciting. It's very small and ugly. So we can customize it if we want to. Um, so if you want to customize this label two that we just created, we could simply do label two dot, and then we have a bunch of methods here that we can use. So if you want to set the color, for example, we could do set text fill, and that can set the color. So control P paint paint, and what you can do in, inside of here is just provide a color um, just like this. So color dot web, and inside of here you could provide a um, a color ID. I forgot you would, what you would call it. Um, but we can go to the internet real quick and find a color picker. And now we can customize a color that we want. This color, if we want this color, for example, we could highlight this, control C to copy that, go back here, paste it in there, and there we go. So that should um, set the color for that text fill. That's going to set the text to be that color, the font for that color. So now let's run this, and it should be that color, purple, or whatever that was. There we go. So now it says, pickles are cool in purple, right? But it's a little small, so let's see if we can make the the font a little bigger. So we can go here, label two, and there's a bunch of different things we can do to change the size, but an easy way to do is also to change the font at the same time. So if you want to customize the font as well as the size, we could do dot set font and we could uh, play around with that. So we could do new font because it wants a font object. So new font and then it wants for the first parameter a string S, which is going to be the name of the font. So we can do um, just name a font that's currently on your system basically. So Cambria is one of them. And then after that, we can provide a, what it wants is the, the size of the font. So we can do 45, that should be like f pixels, 45 pixels, I believe. I don't know, I'm not sure, but that should be it. So now we can run this and see what happens. So as you can see here, it looks a lot better. It says pickles are cool, but the font is better, it's bigger, um, and it's purple now, so it looks very nice. So that's how I do that. It's a basic way for, um, you know, customizing your labels. But later on, I'll be showing you different ways you can customize our labels, our, I mean, our controls for our scenes with CSS and then um, some other options that we have. There's a bunch of stuff you can do with JavaFX, but it's a very simple way to do it. But finally, there's one more thing I want to show you real quick. There's many different things you can do, but one more thing I want to show you is uh, rotating. You can rotate the text label if you want to. So we can simply do label two dot set rotation or set rotate. And then now we can provide the um, the degrees that we want to rotate it. So we'll do 34 degrees, for example, and run this and see what happens. And it should rotate it about 34 degrees. And there we go. It says pickles are cool. It looks kind of crazy now because it's rotated. But it's um, that's how you rotate it. Very simple. That's just a transformation. So that's pretty much all I want to show you for this episode. I know it was kind of simple. But at the same time, it was very exciting because now we can actually add stuff to our GUI and display stuff this, to the screen. So we're um, making way on being able to... Uh, make more complex applications and actually, you know, some cool stuff, right? So anyway, um, if you have any questions about what I showed you today, you can ask in the comment section below. Next episode, I'll be showing you how to do hyperlinks, which are basically just links and then buttons, I believe, something like that. And then after that, I'll be showing you CSS, how to style your uh, controls with CSS and whatever. Um, we're going to learn a lot of stuff, so don't worry. But if you have any suggestions on what you want to learn, um, you could ask in the comment section below or... What I'd rather you do, if you have any, if you need any help or if you want to suggest anything, you can join our Discord server. There's a Discord server in the description below, so make sure you do that. And then also, all the code from today's episode is going to be in the description below. So if you click the link there and then bookmark it for future use in case you forget how to do labels or images. So just yeah, save that as a reference for your future use in case you forget. 
And that's it, really. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, and peace.